What is happening YouTube? Blair McKeaton here, representing Formula Golf up here in Munns Park, Arizona, about to tee off at Pinewood Country Club. This is just south of Flagstaff. I've never played here before, but I've driven by it a few times. I see it off the 17 freeway. Um, Brian, the head pro, and Chris, the director of golf, was nice enough to have me out to play today to film a course vlog. I'm really excited to play out here. It's really windy uh, and pretty cold at the same time, and uh, it's blowing about 20 miles per hour today pretty consistently so it's gonna be a good test of golf to see what I'm able to do with my ball flight up here in altitude and try to shoot the best score I can I have a goal in mind if I can shoot even or better today will be successful I'm not the best win player but I have been improving so this is gonna be a good test to see where I'm at right now uh, first hole here is 420 yards there's a OB to the right and there's a batch of trees about 240 and then right past that is water but I'm into about a 15 to 20 mile per hour wind so I'm gonna choke up on a driver and try to thread the needle. Very nervy first hole. That's gonna be good. I avoided the water down the left to hit it low with a big, with a pretty good draw on it. Lost my balance, but I hit it nice and low, and I think it's gonna be a good start. So my second shot, just off the fairway into the rough. The rough isn't too penalizing out here, so there's nothing wrong with this. I have a 106 yards to the center. I do not have my range finder right now for whatever reason. The the battery. I mean, I changed the battery, but the thing still doesn't work, so I'm gonna have to send it in. Hopefully, they can replace it, but. So I've just been winging it for the last week or so, trying to figure out you know, yardages by feel, but it's gonna be especially hard at a course like this today that I've never played with you know, 20 plus mile per hour wind and seven, over 7,000 feet of elevation. So I'm basically hoping I'm hitting into a 20, yard, uh, 20 mile per hour wind. I'm, I'm gonna play this about 120 yards, like a full gap wedge, but I'm gonna try to flight it. It's probably only about 105, so I'm hoping that, uh, that the wind doesn't affect it too much. The altitude. Ah, uh, pretty long. Not, I mean, it was a good hit, but. Again, it's all feel based, and so I didn't really know exactly how hard I needed to hit that. So I'm going to have a tough little downhill putt. So they punched these greens pretty recently. Uh, the weather has just only started to be, you know, good enough to play golf out here. So the greens are a little, a little bumpy. But Brian was telling me that still downhill they go pretty fast, and I, I can see why because I think they would be airborne good amount of time it would be hard for it to slow down so I'm gonna be uh, pretty touchy with this one <laughs> I probably pulled that and it still looked good until the last second it kind of just wiggled off. But you know what, I'll take a par. Another thing you might not might notice, I have a new putter. It is the Odyssey White White Damasti, Dama ah, White Damascus. Uh, I used to have this putter but it was in the tank. Uh, and it didn't have this really sweet roll face on it. As you can see, it's a really nice milled steel face. Um, from what I read about it, it was only available in Japan when it came out a couple years ago. Uh, I traded my spider for it, even trade, so I'm really happy with this purchase because I've always liked this head the most and I've always felt like this would be the putter of the future, but I really needed a face that got a great roll. The spider, it seemed to me, um, it was like inconsistent roll on long putts especially. It goes hard to lag putt. Sometimes it'll pop off really hot and sometimes it wouldn't. Uh, but this putter, I mean, this is only my second round with it. I played it for the first time yesterday. 
and it's really it, it's really helping my lag putting. I think my speed has been pretty phenomenal this so far, and I'm really excited. And uh, hopefully, I make some putts today. So hole two is a short par four, 274 yards. The wind is kind of on my back and going down, so it's gonna help me. The pin's tucked to the left, so if I'm gonna miss it, I wanna make sure that I miss it to the right. So I'm gonna hit my two iron. I think I could get there today. So I'm gonna aim just left of the green, and then the wind's gonna push it no matter what to the right, and the miss is gonna be greenside bunker, hopefully. just shifted into me, but I still think it's a good club. I said the miss was to the right, and I missed it left. I think I cooked it the, with the draw, and it just kind of stayed over to the left, so that's gonna be a tough little shot going downwind. So here's where I ended up. I guess it's a pretty lucky break that the, that the wind shifted into me when I was hitting that, because there's a little, I mean, it says it's a hazard, but it looks like it's just grass right here. But I mean, I, I got, I, I'm pretty dead where I'm aiming at. Like, I got maybe six feet of green to work with, dead downwind, so instead of trying to flop this wind, I'm gonna bang it into the hill. With the wind coming out this way on me, it's gonna help kick it forward, I think. You know, that's not too bad. Pushed it, but it landed on the upslope of the green into the hill, and then it spit it out to the right. I got about 13 feet for birdie. All right, like I said, good leave here. About 14 feet or so, uphill, right to left. Putting back into the wind. So it might be a little bit slower. Just gotta make sure I hit this thing. Got a pretty good read on this, just from walking up without taking too much on a lot. wobbling but it went in as you guys can tell I went back to my normal the normal standard grip I've been working on this thing called the perfect putting machine and it's called the z-factor perfect putting machine yeah, I'm gonna have a video and show you guys a little all the little tools I'm working on with putting because I'm, I'm vowing myself to have putting be the best part of my game by the end of this summer when it's really gonna matter when Q school is going on and stuff like that so I've been grinding really hard on my putting. I've changed my grip back to normal. I was following with cross-handed. Obviously, I had the claw. Normal grip feels the most comfortable, but now that I use that little perfect putting machine, it's really helped out a lot. So I'll have a video on that coming up soon. Dog leg left par five is 508 yards. Dead downwind, but I got a big batch of trees to the left, and it's pretty hard to turn drivers over downwind. A lot easier to hit fades downwind than it is to hit draws because draws tend to uh, stay really low and knuckle. But I'm gonna try it anyway because I can't hit a fade with those trees right there. As, as expected, it didn't draw, but it looks like I got past the trees that are on the right. Maybe I'll have an open shot. It's tough to really try to cook one down when, when there's OB, you know, dead left. You can see every, those trees were in my way and everything left of that is out of bounds. Well, as I expected, I end up on the next hole's fairway in perfect shape. 
I got a nice wide open shot to this hole. The pin's back right. The only problem is that I have no idea my yardage right now. I barely even trust my eyes. I'm going to assume that I'm 100 and 170. And I am downwind. So I'm going to hit my 9 iron. Aim it to the left side of the green. The wind's coming down and left to right. Hopefully it'll uh, funnel down. Hopefully I pick the right plug. Woefully short, but it was right at the pin. I'm gonna have to hit a flop shot. So I'm like 40 yards short. I'm assuming my eyes were way wrong and I was actually, you know, some 200 yards away or something. But again, I'm in a, a tricky little spot where I have to land it short of the of the pin to really even a chance to get it close. So I'm hitting it, another chip shot kind of back down. But I gotta take it over this tree so it's gonna be a little bit higher than the last one. I couldn't have hit that one any better. That should be about five feet or so. Couldn't ask for a much better leave. About five feet. Looks pretty straight. in order to make putts out here you got to really really hit them firm oh god oh my god holy crap and my camera's a little bit broken now give you an idea of how windy it is well unfortunately with that last gust my camera fell down and my screen broke so I better make this putt now all day out here in Flagstaff I mean, we've been getting gusts up to like 35 and that was probably one of the big ones I guess that birdie is worth the sacrifice of my camera. But I'm off to a great start. You know, even without knowing the exact yardages, it's, uh, it's going well. So, pretty lucky break here. Um, what was normally a 191 yard par three is now about a 90 yard par three. Um, Brian inside the golf shop was telling me that they were, they're redoing all of their par three tee boxes to flatten them all out, which is always a good thing for a golf course. So. I'll be playing on some temporary boxes today and I'm sure it's going to shorten up an already short course. So I think I got about 85, 90 yards. I am downwind and it looks like the green slopes away from me. So I'm going to have to try to hit this one relatively high to land it soft enough. I hit it with the nice nice height that I needed, but it looks like about a 30 footer. Got about 25 feet here. It looks like it's downhill all the way until past the hole. Yeah, definitely downhill right to left. And it's just all about hitting it. I think they're relatively slow. They always want to snap at the end, so you got to take a lot of high lines. That's 
that's not the high, that's not high enough. There we go. Oh! <laughs> I can make everything out here. You know, I had this feeling that this is going to be a good putting day. That's sweet. Three in a row. So, hole five here. I have a yardage book to try to help me get all these yardages. Oh, man. There's another par five. Sweet. I got a good chance for four in a row here. It is dead in the wind. It's 515 yards. Dog leg left. Uh, 265 to cover those trees on the left. I think, I think I can make that, but just in case, I'll probably air it a little bit more to the right, because at least it opens up the dog leg. I should still be able to get there. It's tough because you have these trees out here that are 265 yards, and you can hit a high ball to try to go over them, but you're dead into a, you know, a really stiff wind. I mean, it's probably blowing 20 right now. So the play really is to hit like a low bullet draw around the trees, pretty much, because I think through the fairways, 300 plus on the on a good straight line. So I'm gonna I'm gonna aim at the batch of trees that are just right of that tree that's 265. So I'm gonna choke up, try to hit it low. been very good uh, into this wind but that was a good drive right there okay so luckily there's a plaque right in front of me that says 206 so that's gonna put me right at about 210 yards dead into the wind pins in the middle I don't know how much it's going to the winds going to affect it but it is really cold as you can see I put my beanie on because I'm freezing cold right now nose is running and I don't care how much of an idiot I look like, so. I'm gonna try to hit the full iron. Fly it a little bit, but not hit it super low, because I need the wind to probably touch this, otherwise I'll go long. Club. I didn't hit it the way I wanted, but I'm pin high left into the bunker. Should be able to get that up and down. Alright, pin high here in the bunker. The Y seems to be okay. Missed one of these little ridges. I mean, it probably landed close to pin high and just scooted all the way over here. So good club selection from back there. So yesterday when I played, I hit just about every bunker shot thin. I'm really going to try not to do that. But these greens are pretty slow, so I'm going to try to land a little bit farther than what I normally would. but at least it's uphill. Got a good chance for four in a row. Uphill, right to left. Probably extra, extra slow. You know, it's tough because uh, the last few putts I've had, other than the short one two holes ago, they've broken a lot at the end. I fear that this putt might do the same, but if I hit it too firm and too high, I can see it not breaking. But... So I'm gonna play this thing just outside to make sure I hit it hard. Awesome. 
the pot area is good today. I think right about now I'm going to start readjusting my goals. I'm putting well, I'm hitting it okay. I think the new goal now is to get to six under par today. Par three here, the wind's in and coming right to left. This hole is normally 187 yards. Uh, with these temporary tees, it looks like 135. I'm not super sure. A um, little into the wind. I'm gonna win some in right to left, so I'm gonna hit a pitching wedge, kind of send it out to the right, and hope that the wind just kicks it back in. And also hope I have the right club. Gosh, air mailed the green. It was right at the pin, but I think the wind kind of adjust, uh, switched really hard at the last second, so that's gonna be a tough one. One bright side is that it, it's, uh, I avoided the, those two trees right here, so at least I have a clear shot. It looks relatively flat on top, it's in this back plateau. My ball probably landed right in here and just came screaming down. So, that being said, I could and I should get this up and down just got to give myself a putt since I'm putting well. I got a good chance. Not too bad. It's about eight. About a second and a half feet here. I'll happily take that shot. This is a big putt because uh, you really need your momentum to stay alive. After coming off a four straight birdie, it'd be quite the bummer to have a bogey here. Momentum stays alive.